Flying on a rocket beyond death, in the search for meaning. A 10 gram mushroom trip report, posted by Exploding Snowman to the Shroom subreddit. This report exists because I think that writing things down helps with integrating the experience, and getting some feedback could be interesting. The events that lead up to the trip, and the processing of the experience, are at least for me, essential to make sense of it. So this report could get a bit longer, and due to me being German, the grammar could get a bit weird sometimes, but I'll try to keep it compact and readable. I've always been kind of a weirdo, maybe a bit on the spectrum. I never had many friends or much fun, and I was always very in my head, not very intuitive. The situation worsened significantly during my time at university. I was unable to socialise, everything sucked, everyone sucked, I sucked. I tried to get my act together many times, started working out, eating right and all that, just to fall back down a few months later. After years of dragging myself through life without improvement, I thought that might have some sort of depression going on, and I knew that I needed to change on a deeper level. Having heard of the potential therapeutic effects of psilocybin on things like depression, I got a grow kit and I grew some shrooms and started experimenting with them. I had no prior experience of psychedelics, and due to the lack of a social life, a trip sitter was not an option. Therefore, taking high doses was of course out of the question for my reasonable self. I tried microdosing, and it did help me to act like a human on the rare occasion that I came across and was pressured into interacting with homo sapiens. That was good, but it didn't fix me in the long term. So I took a gram, and had a warm, mild trip some visuals and a tiny taste of the truth that should later be revealed to me. It had some lasting effects. I began being more open, and sometimes I even had some fun during interactions with other people. Despite that, I felt like it wasn't the time to trip for a few months afterwards, and I only microdosed about once per week. Then, one day, I suddenly felt that it was time for a trip. It didn't feel like my own idea, but rather so as if the mushroom was inviting me towards it. I took two grams and had a trip that was compared to the first one. More intense, also colder and darker, but not bad or frightening. At one point into the experience, I kind of asked for a bad trip. I wanted to confront my shadow, but the immediate answer was that it wasn't the time for that, and that I had to heal first. From there on, the trip turned warmer. During this trip, I already knew that this was just the preparation for the real healing that would be coming tomorrow. Again, it didn't feel like my own decision. I just knew I had to go further the next day. So the following day, I took three grams of mushrooms. I always thought I should not take that much alone, but I knew that I didn't need a trip sitter. Somehow, I was 100% certain that the upcoming experience would be positive and healing. I completely trusted the mushroom to lead me to a good place. While I was beginning to feel a bit trippy, I had the realisation that the Lieber album from the band Heilung would be the ideal accommodation for the trip. I listened to that album a lot in the past, but never planned on listening to it while tripping, because I thought its dark and aggressive passages could trigger a bad trip. For this trip though, where I knew that a bad trip could not happen, this music seemed right. At the time when I started the music, I had another realisation. It had been already 45 minutes since I took the shrooms, and I knew I didn't take enough. Sure, I was already having slight optics and felt funny, and sure, the intensity was still rising, but I did think I had to take a bit more. So I took two more grams and laid down. Ten minutes later, I knew that adding two grams wasn't enough, so I did two more for the second time. I still didn't feel like making any decisions. I just knew I had to take more, and I knew I had to take more again, and added two grams for the third time. I was now beginning to feel very trippy. Everything was morphing and breathing and changing colours. All things were decorated with lines of small, complex forms. I was beginning to feel like I'm around my body and not just in it. I rolled out of the bed, crawled to the glass of mushrooms, and somehow managed to put one more gram on the scale. Sitting on the edge of my bed, I studied them intensely as they were dancing in my hand. One by one, I ate the mushrooms, and they tasted great. After that, I fell back and the rocket reached liftoff state. I felt utterly weightless, just flowing there as the shamanistic music was taking the shape of a sphere around me. I connected to a higher consciousness, and suddenly, just for a brief moment, the music sounded almost pathetic. 
The musicians seemed like children who were only imitating the real thing. But then, the music became extremely complex and mystic. I noticed that I was in a space, and the space was in me, and everything was in me. And I was in everything, and also was not. There was a tiny irrelevant dimension somewhere, in which lots of funny little creatures were running around, who were believing they had serious problems. One of those things used to be I. It was so funny how serious they took the game, how busy they were. Then, there was a truth, so profound and meaningful, that there are no words to describe it. It kind of came back to me for a while to look at the truth from a human perspective. I looked at it, rather with my being than my eyes, although I couldn't really study it, because in the instance I was looking at it, I got completely overwhelmed by how good and simple it is. I had to laugh like crazy. Every time when I got down from a laughing fit, I tried to look at it again, causing a new laughing fit. It was like a ridiculous funny loop. I think I almost laughed myself to death. Speaking of death, when I came out of this loop, I felt like I was having a heart attack, a stroke, and as if my lungs were shutting down entirely. I was pretty sure I was dying at this point, but that was alright. I didn't mind. Suddenly, time stretched like a chewing gum. The frequency reached a higher and higher pitch as I flew through a tunnel into a particular part of the music. I zoomed in and in and in, like a fractal zoom, but not with form, but with time and sound. Although, time and sound took form as well. Honestly, time, sound and form were kind of the same thing at that point. I can barely remember what followed. I think I was just bathing in the pure, eternal bliss of it. Only consciousness dancing. After I don't know how long, I re-emerged in the human form as the surrounding music was putting me back together. I was made anew. I believe this out-of-body phase of the trip must have lasted for about two hours in Earth time. Somehow, I must have hit the button on my earplugs at some point, pausing and replaying the music, because when this phase of the trip was coming to an end, the music was coming to an end as well. After that, I was still having strong optics and felt very trippy, but I stayed in my body and had some understanding of the reality around me. I was slowly arriving in this dimension as I was lying there in constant, intense happiness. I finally understood. The mystic hallucinogenic phase of the trip slowly faded out and was replaced by an unprecedented clarity and energy. I've never taken MDMA, but what followed felt like the effects of MDMA that are described. Even six hours after I took the shrooms, my pupils were huge and I walked around with unlimited energy. I felt like I saw everything for the first time, which was in a way true, because I was a new person. I felt so natural and happy. For the first time since I can remember, the judging, criticizing, grumpy voice in my head was completely silent. After the trip, that launched me far out of this reality. I was more present than I had ever been, and reality felt more real than it ever did before. I've never been so sober. Now, a few days later, I'm still positively different. Every time I look at a tree, or water, or clouds, I see these things like I've seen them as a child. Everything is clear and alive. Things that I used to perceive as huge problems just don't bother me anymore. I want to meet people and do peoply things. I have the feeling that a lot is going to change. Naturally, I was thinking intensely about the experience these days and tried to understand what happened. I wondered how a spiritual event of such magnitude was even possible, and whether I had to reconsider my agnosticism. Did I truly visit a metaphysical dimension that is more real than this one? Was my intense happiness the result of my experience? Or was my experience just a rationalisation of my subconsciousness to explain my euphoria that was caused by chemicals that flooded my brain? The realisations I had can't just have been meaningless nonsense. Objectively speaking, because instead of everyone's brain making up something else, other people who go on this journey seem to have similar realisations as mine. Subjectively, because I know that the truth I saw was self-evident. It was as logical as the statement that 2 plus 2 equals 4. I think either the spiritual metaphysical explanation is true, or the experience is a spiritual projection of a truth that could be materialistically explainable and that lies hidden in everyone's subconsciousness 
and reveals itself to us in such a way that we can understand it best. So right now, I'm still agnostic, but I'm convinced that the realizations I had are in a way true, and that the experience was deeply meaningful and profound. I know, taking 10 gram of mushrooms unprepared without a trip sitter in a not so good life situation is generally not advised, and maybe it would go wrong in most cases. But for me, it didn't start a horror trip, it ended one. This was a really great report. Uh, it's an awesome case study in a positive high dose experience um, that for all intents and purposes shouldn't have really gone that well for him considering the life circumstances, the lack of a trip sitter and the lack of experience with high doses before. Um, quite unique in the realm of high dose, um, post heroic dose experiences if you want to call them that because a lot of the time people just do go crazy even if they've had experience before because there often is a lot of hubris that people go into the trip with and this guy seemed really humble um, seemed like he knew himself pretty well he was very open to exploring his shadow as well which means he was open to any type of experience and was very accepting if it got bad and was ready to face up to whatever demons he may have so yeah for any of you thinking of doing a high dose um, trip you've got to be very very clear on what you want out of it and very ready to face up to anything that might happen because the more psychedelics you take the more fluid the more dreamlike your consciousness becomes the more your subconscious will spill out and you will have to face up to things that you didn't even realize um, you had inside your mind realistically there's so many depths and archives in your mind that you're not even aware of in your sober state that the mushrooms or any high dose psychedelic will bring about so this guy went into it with the best possible attitude i definitely personally recommend a trip sitter if you're doing this for your first time and even even in the future and um, for your next several trips until you're very very confident that you want to do it by yourself which will actually be your most profound experience because as great as a trip sitter is, if you want to go deeper and deeper into consciousness work, um, doing it by yourself is the most productive way for you to delve deeper into reality and your intentions of the, with the experience. Because as great as a trip sitter is for keeping you safe, once you're fully safe in yourself and you're ready to plunge deeper down the rabbit hole, it will provide less distractions for you. The less distractions the better if you want to get as deep as possible. But always remember to be careful because oftentimes people think, oh yeah, I'm completely careful. And then they're actually not. It's just their ego sort of um, making that up for them. So yeah, really great report. And I found it funny that he thought his grammar would uh, be all over the place when it was probably better than 90% of trip reports on the internet. So fair play to this guy. And I know you lot love these high dose reports, especially the mushroom ones. Anything 5 grams and over is just guaranteed to be uh, quite popular with people. And yeah, I do like featuring them because um, they're so unique. You don't really hear um, many of them. You have to do quite a bit of scouring on the internet to find them. And they're always extremely mystical, very out there. And oftentimes, like with this guy, it has them reconsidering their whole perspective on God. Like this guy was like reconsidering his agnosticism. Um, and it just shows that the more trips you have, the more you start leaning towards metaphysical, mystical uh, perspectives on reality not saying they're all 100 percent true but that is definitely like this guy says an objective fact that many 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 people who go through this sort of experience do start to lean more towards a spiritual way of uh, perceiving the world so yeah hope you enjoyed this one guys and i'll see you in the next one